You already know what time it is. Dead by Daylight by your boy A. Godly. I had to switch oh, it up from Fortnite. So I had to take a break. I have other games that I love to play. I don't want to just be sticking with one game. And I feel as though with this video, I am making a stand that I will be a variety uh, gamer already? slash streamer. Already? Already? It's just that my love for this game, since, it's, since it being a horror game in itself, I just love horror games. Uh, to give a little background about myself, um, I actually was very scared of playing horror games. Like anything particular with making your heart jump up or just anything creepy, it just freaked me out. So I remember uh, when I was, I think, 10 or 11, I think uh, for Christmas, my uncle, I, I don't know if he thought it was a, a joke or maybe he just wanted to test me. I ended up getting a, a copy of Resident Evil 4. For Christmas, at first I I didn't know what it was. I um, no, I didn't know what it was. But only memories I could like think of a Resident Evil game was that Resident Evil Two. It just I think yeah, yeah, not yeah, now. Yeah. It didn't just come out, but I've seen someone play it, and then being like a a scary. I, I don't like to clarify it. Me playing a scary game was a no-no, but me watching a horror movie was like my thing. I remember me and my mom would always love to watch horror games in general or horror movies in general. Since I think like my taste in films came from her exactly, so anything she watches, I'll definitely watch. But now like actually being involved and being in the outcome of like someone else's like torture, and uh you know being in that line and the experience, it was just like a whole new realm for me as like my beginning stages of like being a gamer. So. I remember uh, actually trying the game out, you know, the first level. I couldn't even get past the, like, actual, I guess, the town part at the very beginning. I just could not get past it. It just always freaked me out with the the, uh, the guy with the sandbag on his head. It just always freaked me out. So I think I, I legit took, like, a two-week break. I, I still remember that. I took a legit two-week break from it. I just couldn't do it. And I just, like, I had, like, a mental, like, reset. I just literally just stared at the cover and was like, I, I have to. My uncle bought it. I don't want to waste his money. I don't know, I was scared for some reason that he'd find out I didn't play it. It's just like, I didn't want to waste it. I just kept trying to find an excuse for me to just beat it. I just didn't want it to conquer me in general. So I ended up trying it. And then I, it was just like, after a while, it was just like fighting that urge to quit. But it was just the adrenaline rush after you completed it. It was just very satisfying. It was just like, what's around the corner? Like, I wonder what's new. Oh my god. Um, uh, don't mind the uh, yelling in the background. It's uh, electrified. It's playing some League. But anyway, end up playing that game. That was my very first horror game I ever played. Like, fully to the end. That, still to this day, after playing Resident Evil 4, I think three times already, that's probably one of the greatest horror games I've ever played. That and Dead Space. I mean, yeah, those two games would pretty much set me on the path of me loving horror games in general. But, enough of that. I'll go right back to the gameplay. Uh,. Since I haven't been really playing this game, I am, like, reset to the, like, lowest of the low. Like, level 20 survivor, killer, and everything. I don't have a lot of perks. I haven't played with that many characters. So, I've been deciding to play with uh, the king right here. Since he has the, the perk, we're going to live together. Or, no, we're going to live forever. So, I can get to pretty much farming the butt points. I already have him to, I think, level 38. So, I mean, I got the perks that I want. No mifter is pretty trash in general, but... I got that already, now I can just start. I'm already working on my Dwight, which is already almost like a level 20. So I'm slowly farming, yep, surely. Uh, and then um, I've actually been, I actually got some good gameplay footage coming out with the Hag. Just to showcase how, um, how I don't know, like, there are moments when I love playing as a survivor, like with friends, but when it's like late in the night, or I just want to chill, you know, mellow out, being a killer man is just, it's just too refreshing. It's just too rewarding. It's just knowing that, you legit average at least three or maybe the whole lobby every like every lobby there's a, there's always a bad apple where you'll get at least one just because you just they were on the game getting the hex totems and everything it's a, it's a lot of mind games because once they find out i mean once you find a survivor it just doesn't really matter unless they already prestige or you don't know what builds or perks they have but killer will always determine the pace of the game in general and then plus your perks but i feel as though the killer is like no i'll say perks is number one for atmosphere and then number two would be the actual killer itself but since perks are always up in the air unless it's a hex totem then it's kind of like you might have a good feel of what's going on but other than that i was playing with my boy ac131 he recently just got the game that i convinced him to play he's in love with the game itself 
Uh, I mean, if for those, if you've even stuck this far, uh, this game is, is pretty much um, four survivors going against one killer. Uh, the objective for the survivors is to escape, obviously. But in the way to escape, you gotta um, repair five generators since it's four of you. Uh, while the killer is pretty much trying to kill you in a way, but they can't kill you outright. They have to down you and hook you and like hopefully sacrifice you. But if they can't in the first try, then they got two more tries in a total of three. Now there's a lot of details that intertwine with each other. A whole of like, um, there's a lot of I guess I want to say like contentious. No, I can't even pronounce the word. But there's a lot of factors that go into the the whole process since perks can affect this. Certain characters can do this, but ultimately perks will pretty much set how the game will go for you, depending on what your playstyle is. If you're trying to save people, have a high risk, high reward playstyle. If you want to just be stealthy, don't see the killer at all minding your own business or if the killer if you just want to make a, a straight build of nothing but um of nothing but um perks just meant for the basement that's your stronghold or you just want to be a straight slasher and I, like it's, it's, it's this game has a lot to go with uh, the reason i started picking up this game back up in general is that i seen that the, there was a community tournament that was actually i guess like a big deal in the dead by daylight community i mean i did hear that it didn't go well i've, I've watched uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember his channel name, but I'll put it in the video that uh, how why it didn't go down right. I mean, is is them by they like esports ready? I mean, I mean unless they come up with balance or no, unless they come up with you know custom servers. How well they do, but you know better custom. Uh, I guess tweaking or customization to make it even a, a legit thing. But esports ready? I don't know about that, but an actual competitive thing where teams can actually put up and you know show their skills collectively. Then yeah, that can that can actually be a thing. It's just, I mean, it's the first big community tournament. I mean, it's still just, there's still um a lot of volunteering. No, not volunteering, but a lot of feedback from the community and the producers who are making it itself. So, I mean, it, yeah, there's going to be some bad things. There's going to be some good things. <laughs> Shit, there might even be more bad than good. But in the end, as long as you can recover from it and make the game better in itself, then by all means, it, it'll become a great thing. So just give it a good time. Uh, the game is as long as it's been out, even since PC oh, started right first. Up. I'm oh, playing right on console up. right now, oh, oh, but it's still this game is still going. There's a lot of love and feedback. That's what I love about it. And it's that horror feel, which I love about it. It's just a lot of pluses that I like playing with this game. And um, yeah, another thing is like, it's just so much to do in this game. It's just yeah, but um, hopefully with this video, if you're even sticking to this eight minute mark, that you'll hopefully know if you're a good long term supporter from now on is that I, I will be posting pretty much. I, I will post. Hopefully, I'll maybe might do a schedule since I won't be owning that many games and just keep playing and playing. But hopefully for now, I'll start off with a schedule with with different games that I'll be playing. But definitely, Dead by Daylight will be one of them. Uh, Fortnite will be one of them. Uh, I'll post some Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, upcoming games, I'll definitely. I am thinking about getting that new Halo. Um, I'm not sure for Call of Duty. Uh, Battlefield is a definite, and a uh, Red Dead Redemption. I keep getting told to play that, so that's gonna be exciting. But, all right, guys, uh, this gameplay is starting to get close to an end. Uh, all generators are good to go. Uh, I had my fun with the clown. The clown is a very menacing killer. Like, if he's in a chase with you, he is literally. Like one of the toughest killers to get away from just because he can apply pressure with his little bleach bottles which can literally he can if you can time it and then know but you got to know your map awareness you got to know where you're going with this because if you don't know he can eventually just he can literally plan where he wants you to go but i mean other than that guys if you've been tagging on this whole time i appreciate it love you I'm thank I'm you for the support uh be sure to you know, follow me on Twitter. Tell me what your thoughts on. Tell me what I need. I need all the criticism I need. I want to improve for you guys. I want to make sure I can keep Say. providing the best content Say. that I can with the current gear that I have. And, yeah, above all, make sure you check the details of the video for any of my social links. And uh, stay godlike. I don't want this. I don't want this fucking bozo to get... Oh dang, he's getting everybody over here.
See you later, dummy. <laughs> oh, he got me. Motherfucker, I'm gone. It's me. You heal me. Oh my, come on. How did this man go down when he's right next to the exit? Alright, we got his attention all. Alright, of course, he did the fucking mist right there. Oh my god, really? They don't want to freaking help me. Oh shit. Fuck. Come on, I lost. Oh, I found it. <laughs> hey, Michael, you saw us here. Doors, how do they work? Ah, teammates are an idiot. Let's see if I can blind him. Oh, oh no. 